It's Jeff and Wilmer at Budroom. We're going to show you how to make a new queen bee. So you don't have to order a queen bee from a, a queen bee breeder. If your hive goes queenless, then I'm just going to show you how to go about it. I have a hive here that's fairly strong and it's got a queen and I've taken two frames of brood out of it. Now I'm going to put those two frames in this hive here that hasn't got a queen. I've sold a lot of bee colonies in the last six months and a lot of these hives here are just making new queens. So I put two of the frames out of the other hive, put them in here and ready for the queen to lay in. Here are the two frames that I took out. Now if you want to get a close-up of this one, I'm not sure. So you can see this frame here has a combination of sealed brood so there'll be bees hatching out of this in the next week or so. So we've got uh, larvae that's just about to get sealed off right down to newly laid eggs. Over to the far left, so this here is a drone comb. So I don't want the drones in the hive where I want to make a new queen. So I'm just going to, with my knife, cut that out and leave that space. Now the bees will clean up what I've cut. And I'm just, I've made a, a, a space here. Of course this hive is very weak in numbers. I haven't got any frames outside the, the mass of bees that's got any pollen or brood in them. So they're basically what I call dry stickies. Because if you've got any uh, frames with pollen or brood that the bees aren't protecting, well then the beetle can start laying their eggs. Now, now this one here, as you can see, it hasn't got any pollen. It's just a sticky, or a dry sticky with a bit of, a bit of honey in the top there. Uh, this is honey that they're bringing in, just fresh honey. And this other frame here has got a good amount of bees on it. So that's another dry sticky, a good amount of bees there. So, so this uh, colony's got a, yeah, a reasonable population of bees. So there's enough bees in there to be able to cope with two more frames of brood. This frame and the other frame I'm going to put in has got newly laid worker eggs. They'll, the bees will convert some of those into queen cells and start uh, making their own queen. This other frame has also got a lot of sealed brood and bees hatching out and it's also got young larvae and eggs. And it's also got drone comb. I'm going to cut that drone comb out as well. So what will happen is, not only will this, will this hive be able to make themselves a new queen, but because you've got that hatching brood, at the same time it's going to increase the population of this colony. Now, if for some reason they don't make a new queen out of those two frames, all you do is repeat that process in about three weeks time. No problem. If your hive goes queenless and you've got other hives around or if you've got a mate that's got hives, there's no need to press the panic button and go looking for the phone book to try and find out who sells queen bees. But you can get your bees to make a queen for themselves. And quite often you'll get a better queen by doing that because you'll get it through natural selection. So they'll build several queen cells in those two frames and then the most vigorous queen will hatch out the first and then she'll go around and kill all the others or if two of those queens hatch out at the same time they'll seek each other out and fight to the death so so ultimately you're going to get a stronger queen by natural selection than if you get a queen from a queen breeder who just uses um, uh, fertilized eggs at random there's another hive that went really weak. So I had this, this hive making itself a queen. I'll see what happens. This is a few weeks ago. So all the activity is on that side there. This hive here, a very weak hive, but you can see it's made itself a queen. So there she is right next to the hive tools. Can you see her with the camera? 
Yep. Oh, she's beautiful. Yep. Anyway, she's fertilised and she's laying eggs. Oh, beautiful. So, but the hive itself is a bit down in numbers, so I'm going to replace one of the frames with a frame of sealed brood. Now this one here is a fairly strong hive, I might take a frame of brood out of it. So I was glad I checked this hive because it doesn't have a queen. It doesn't appear to have a queen. So what I've done is uh, this hive, this weak hive here certainly needs uh, a bit of extra brood. I found this frame out of a hive that's got a nice young queen and there's a lot of sealed brood on it and young also around the edges some young larvae so I'm going to include this into the weak hive that's got the queen but it just needs a bit of help with the population it is a nice uh, a nice frame fully drawn with worker comb so I'll put that in the other hive and the one next to it might be a good one as well so I'll, I'll replace I'll replace those two frames with these two. So in a couple of weeks time, or even in a week, I can add another frame of brood to this hive and then slowly build it up. Now, you don't want to build it up too fast. If you try to build it up too fast, there's a chance that the small hive beetle can uh, get in there into your hive and do damage. That's always something to watch out for. Now this other, now this other hive here that doesn't appear to have a queen, I'm just going to take that other frame. Same thing on this one here, there's a bit of drone comb on this one, so I'm going to cut it out as well. Because I'm wanting to make a queen with that frame, what I'm going to do is just move this frame across and put it right in the middle. And let this hive make itself a new queen. If you see a hive has gone queenless or you think it's gone queenless, there's no need to panic. All you've got to do is just add a frame of brood to it. As long as it's got newly laid fertile eggs, they can make themselves a new queen. And if that fails, just do it again in a couple of weeks time. That's all you need to do. It's got a lot of honey in Nashville, naturally. Uh, I'm only using nine frames in a ten frame box and that works good for me. As long as you space them out evenly, that's all you need to do. This one's heavy as well. I don't know whether I'm getting weak in my old age, but I think there's a bit of honey coming in. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.